Well, Will Connors has been following every move BlackBerry makes, and he joins us now. Um, Will, not the greatest news. Uh, tell us what's been happening over the weekend. Well, this uh, past Friday was BlackBerry's launch of their, their new phone uh, at AT&T. And so far, it's been less than a, a great success for them. It seems like AT&T isn't really putting a lot of its own marketing muscle behind the phones. You know, not a lot of signs. Uh, the phones are hard to find if they're in the stores at all. Um, some accusations that the the, the uh, sellers at the AT&T stores aren't trained properly to how to use the phones. So uh, not a great first sign for, for BlackBerry from AT&T launch anyway. And certainly nowhere near as much money uh, being put into it as from, um, you know, uh, Android phones like Samsung or from, from Apple with their iPhone. Um, we've also got news out of a couple of big banks um, basically slamming the stock. Tell us about that. Yeah, both uh, Goldman and Citigroup uh, said that the launch was disappointing. Uh, the Citigroup guy said it was a shockingly low support from AT&T. And the thing is that for, for RIM, for the BlackBerry maker, that they're not going to be able to do it on their own. You know, they have some cash left and they have, um, you know, they're putting a lot of marketing behind these new phones. But without the support of carriers and retailers like Best Buy and even, you know, Radio Shack and smaller guys across the country, they're not going to be able to, um, to really pick up sales to where they were three, four years ago. Yeah, let me read you this com comment from uh, analyst at Goldman. It says, quote, while we thought the international launch was solid, the U.S. launch is critical for BlackBerry's ultimate success. Our retail checks at over 20 store locations since March 22 um, revealed surprising lack of marketing support. Um, and, and that really goes to um, other anecdotal evidence we're hearing right here about the set. Now, if you can't get it on the shelves, you can't buy it. What does that mean for the future of BlackBerry? Is, is it over? Is this the death rattle? Well, they're either going to have to depend on some of the other carriers that are launching this week, like T-Mobile and Verizon, to, you know, to really buck up and help them with the marketing. And if they don't, then it's a that's a very bad sign because even though you know BlackBerry sell relatively well in other parts of the world, the U.S. is usually a pretty good bellwether for how sales are going to go elsewhere. So I think they'll be hoping for better signs this week from from Verizon and T-Mobile. And what, wasn't this the last big bet that the company was making on the smartphone market um, after which they really couldn't hope to rebound? I mean, certainly investors have got to be very worried about this. Yeah, I mean, they say that they have, um, you know, a whole product launch, series of product launches coming this year, not just this one phone. And they don't have any debt and they still have, you know, uh, 79 million subscribers around the world. So the way the company says it is, sees it is that they're in relatively good shape, but that's not how investors see it. The stock is was hammered on Friday and again today. So I think as these initial sales numbers start to come in, we'll get a better idea of whether or not they are going to be able to turn it around. Well, we shall see, won't we? Um, thank you very much for keeping your finger on the pulse there. Will Connors of the Wall Street Journal in Toronto.